Hi guys, welcome in. This is Cleo. I hope you're all doing really well. I've been pulled to the wood incense today, so that could mean something to you. And I just saw Garden Fairy out of the corner of my eye, even though this says Garden Fresh, though. Someone could be seeing things out of the corner of their eye, particularly when you're in the garden or when you're outdoors in general. And I feel like you could have little energies playing with you, actually. Quite light-hearted energies. And it's funny because I've been pulled to do a reading for someone who has made, maybe had some crazy struggles, because I'm, I'm getting called to do a reading for the badasses, for the ones who are really dealing with the plutonic kind of storylines, people who've come in with that higher connection to the tree of life. So life's always a bit more complicated for those people, or they're given challenges that other people wouldn't be able to manage. So it's funny that they're sending in the most lighthearted energies to aid someone on their journey. Time could be playing on someone's mind. I feel like someone could be, the mind could be worrying a little bit for somebody. So let's get the clock started. Thank you guys. Thank you angels. Thank you higher beings. Okay, let's go. What do we need? There could be some hesitation there because I almost went to pull a card and then something in me was holding back. So I feel like this is an energetic interpretation of what someone's going through. This could be one way of living clashing with another pattern of the mind because we really do get to choose where we focus and uh, our habits become ingrained so it's like you're choosing where to focus but there's old ingrained habits I feel we've got the moon here and what's fascinating about this moon card is this has three faces okay it's, it's not so easy to see but there are three faces on this moon card so I feel like there's different parts of you tugging you in different directions and funnily enough they're giving me Pluto, Neptune, Saturn I mean they demand different things from us and it almost feels like payment is due and you know that you know you've got to move with something and I feel like that's why there's this element of time playing on your mind and having to choose I feel like someone needs to be told here that you are the badass you are the creator of your own reality and sometimes we can go round and round in circles following patterns old thought patterns until we break out and above those thought patterns and realize that we are the commander of our thought patterns i feel like that is so important for this reading because some versions of us and we have to become different metaphysical versions of us we're very multi-dimensional so there may have been versions of you getting triggered throughout your life that now you've got to say goodbye to because every metaphysical version of us exists there's a version of me that is a, an elite runner, there's a version of me that, you know, if I'd chosen to go to fast food outlets every day of my life, I'd probably be 500 pounds, right? Every version of us already exists because we've got free will to move into whatever version of us we choose. And I feel like for you, it's pivotal. pivotal. <laughs> How they just like jumped my word then. Maybe that's what you need, a jump start, because that felt like something jumping into me when I was about to say pivotal. So it's almost like you have to be the one to leap, you have to be the one to jump, you have to choose which version of yourself you're going forward with. This is why I talk about the higher self so much, because with the higher self, we have the certainty that when we are under the influence of it, we can't really do wrong. And I feel like that's maybe what's playing on your mind here and your emotions, the urge to want to get it right. And what they're saying is, even that in in and of itself is linear thinking. The idea that we can be good or bad or right or wrong. And I know there's a lot of dichotomy in spiritual work where sometimes it is good to think whether something's right or wrong or moral or whatever. But I feel like for you right now in your journey, it's pivotal that you get into the right energy that you choose. So this may be connected to your higher self or the highest version of yourself you can possibly imagine. You at your strongest, you at your best, you at your most powerful perhaps and maybe that's what this is maybe this is about stepping into power because they're kind of showing me a car when you know when you've got to jump start the car when you've got to put some oomph into the car think of all that pressure I used to love that when I was a kid helping to jump start a car because I could put all my pressure on the back of this car and I wouldn't have to fear hurting anyone or or doing anything with my strength that could cause a problem because all of that energy was so forcefully and so well placed in that exercise. So it felt like freedom for me to be able to put all my strength behind that car and know I couldn't do any damage because I was 
ridiculously strong as a child. I was scarily strong as a child and I was always getting told I didn't know my own strength. Plus I moved so quickly, right? So those of you out there that partake of the herb, you know that really it's a balm for the soul for some people because I'm made for a lot of action and adventure and to put my force in a lot of places, right? So, you know, in the modern day era, there are some herbal ways that we can kind of chill ourselves out a bit. That's coming up for a reason for somebody. I don't know. Someone needs to alter their viewpoint and see themselves in their highest potential. But I'm rambling. Let's get on and see what else is going on. But they're telling me a dog with a bone, like some things don't change. There's that two of swords here. You know where you want to be. I'm getting the energy of someone who knows where they want to be. So I don't know if this is a self-worth thing. I don't know if this is you thinking if it seems too good to be true, maybe it is or something like that. When really we are magical beings and we can truly become whatever we choose. And I feel like this is your sign that you are a multi-dimensional being. And sometimes that can be a little bit confusing. We've got this figure here closing the outside world off and really kind of finding a way to maybe meditate or zone into a different frequency of consciousness, something that's gonna release them from this idea of even being in a bind, I feel. Because there's a world here waiting for you, but the version of you who you choose to be, and make no mistake, it's always a choice when we're grown ups and we chose to jump in a vessel and think, yeah, I'm tough enough for earth, right? Then we've gotta to be tough enough for earth. and. You know, I feel like you've got to allow that in yourself. I feel like, let's have a look. What's coming out next is two of wands. There's a toughness that needs to be harnessed and channeled here. And it's not easy for the most powerful souls to find a crevice, a niche, to find that crack of freedom. I feel like that's maybe what you're looking for here. Because there's this energy of like, which way do I wriggle? Which, which way do I go? Which version of myself do I choose? And maybe it's none of these. I don't think it's any of these. I think it's a new version of you that maybe you're yet to meet. A new angle of consciousness, consciousness <laughs> and a new horizon. I'm kind of seeing you looking at life from the top of a building. And this building feels like kind of vaporwave, actually. So you could have that kind of soul where you kind of like that kind of energy, feeling like you're in an alternate dimension. And that's coming up for a reason. Alternate dimensions, multi-dimensionality. We've got seven of cups energy here. You know how convincing it is for us. You know how easy it is to convince humans of anything. It's really easy for us to believe whatever we feed ourselves. And that's why it's not always so easy to know thyself. And that's why I feel like here with this two of wands, there's this real segregation this is you closing out the outside world long enough to tune to something completely new completely different and there's a peace here the need for peace but i see right now you could feel like you're on the middle of a bridge you know you've gone too far to go back and the only way you go is forward because that's the only option you've got but right now it could feel like you're so far away from normality with the moon energy and this seven of cups kind of confusion and illusion and that's why I feel like you need to shed this because we're so easy to hypnotize and I feel like maybe people projected things on you or maybe this is just a normal cleanse that's needed but this is a cleanse of self-image a big transformation how you see yourself there's an elevation needed here you need to allow yourself into your power here because like I say being an ancient soul or a powerful soul or a soul who's come in with their consciousness already tuned to the upper echelons of the tree of life you're not always going to have this avenue to channel all your power so easily right but you're finding this we've got the four of uh the four of wands here rays of light four rays of light coming down and there is a party energy with the four of wands so i feel like someone's just going to be maybe leaving their tensions to the side there's an energy here of someone who maybe all week you've been worrying about bills and then someone calls you and they're like come out let's have an adventure come on forget that other life and you have to literally close that other version of yourself off that workaholic version or that matrix version or whatever version and you have to be a free 
bunny with your friends. You have to remember what it's all about and get back to that blissful godlike status here because there's a tension over here and this is what happens. You know, what, what is that quote where they say about beasts and gods and he who is unable to be around people must be either a god or a beast, right? That's coming up here. But the ecstasy is coming for you. You're not a god for nothing or a goddess for nothing. Of course you're meant to be exalted. Of course you're meant to be uplifted. And it's something that you have to open the gates on. And I see you opening the gates. You see the ones are closed up here. There's something you're not seeing or allowing or you're being distracted by your feelings. But if you're watching this channel, you know, you can rise above that. You can see through that higher lens of consciousness here. And that's what's required. A godlike connection, which you may find through some sort of ecstatic party a party is a ritual you know people get all scared of the witchy words and i just find it hilarious because we're all witches creating our own reality moment by moment by moment there we go the cat's out of the bag guys right but this is you realizing and finding a level of peace this feels like a beautiful peaceful level you know the all white realms i know a lot of my viewers have been to those realms in meditation or maybe some of you have even had near-death experiences where you've zoned into a realm where it's all completely white and you felt that peace of the non-physical world and i feel like that's what you're bringing into the physical here they want me to get my fairy cards where are my little fairy cards I can find them that is okay they're telling me these will do because these are etheric enough okay so let's let's clarify here show me this moon energy because yeah you've got a lot of cabinets of potion this is the thing i'm picking up on here i'm picking up on someone who maybe you've got a really powerful genetic tribal line i'm getting because they really want me to get the runes out with you and get magical with the runes because you're someone who is so staunch you came in staunch you came in hard you came in with this this mm, this is like the temperament for <laughs> they're telling me <coughs> excuse me that you came in with the temperament for brutality and they're showing me the sas which is a symbol for people who you know they're gluttons for punishment some of us came in uh, this life you know i thought i thought the kgb were going to come and get me personally because i had access to all my past lives i got a bit confused right i thought they were going to come and pick me up I'm I'm kind of feeling that with you, like you've had lives like that. And that's why with the moon energy, you get such a, you could feel pretty ferocious sometimes and think, am I a beast or a man or a woman or whatever, right? Because you've got all this primal energy. Page of swords, what a sneaky one. Just showing up. I, you know, as a reader, it's funny. Very rarely do we get this energy of, a sneaky one showing up someone just slipping in without you even noticing them i feel like you avoid pesky energies i feel like this is talking about your past here with the page of swords how no matter how much you avoid avoid stuff they show up the hanged man targeting your light here we've got the six of cups this is about what you carry from the past lives so things could have felt a bit archaic in your life like you could have you could have had this kind of energy go through you where you're thinking, is this really happening? Are people really like this? Do they really carry grudges? Yes, they carry karmic familial grudges. The energy continues until we change it. So the same old stories stories will repeat in the modern era, era that were happening 2,000 years ago if we don't handle the energy differently. And I feel like that's what you're being called to do here. Yeah, they've had an eye on your light. Of course they have. Piscean energy. You've got this back door open. You've got this, this easy, easy connection, 12th house connection, this easy connection to your, your past life selves or your simultaneous selves or your multidimensional selves. And it's caused people to focus on you even when you're trying to be inconspicuous, even when you're trying to dodge them, avoid them <laughs> and get out without them seeing. I'm getting like, maybe you try and like leave places without people noticing. Stuff like that. Show me this hanged man energy. Okay, the sun and the page of coins here. Six of cups. So, yeah, there may be this energy of you having your light targeted here. By ones who are hard to avoid, they just can't help but keep their eye on you. 
This could be in your past, people focusing on you, targeting you. Yeah, I'm getting obsession here. This attempt at sacrificing you or disempowering you, right? Because to disempower people socially or whatever, it is a sacrifice of sorts. It affects our future. It affects our ability to obtain abundance. It affects our self-worth. Therefore, it affects our bloody children. Further on down the road, this is all tribal and familial with you. People attacking you because of the clan you're part of or be because of what you represent. This is huge energy you've brought forward from the past lives with this. This back door you've got into Pisces and 12th house. Yeah, yeah, of course you've got that energy, but you are going to find a way to harness it. Page of coins, show me. Six of swords. Yeah, there's going to be a shift up in the energies that are attracted to you. And it's once you focus and harness your energy. Show me this two of wands. It's a new pathway. It's a better pathway. Nine of coins. Independence here. So I don't know what goes on in your life, but there's this breaking through, new growth, abundance with the nine of coins. And I absolutely adore this, uh, this beautiful protected garden of Eden. And she stood there just so happy. So there could be this turning away from other pathways where you would have been embroiled or enmeshed with other people and therefore combining your karma with other people. I'm getting a business sense with this. Like maybe there's stuff you want to move forward with in business and maybe you were hoping on some sort of people you're maybe affectionate of. Because I'm getting the word affection coming through. Like maybe you wanted to do a family business or maybe you wanted your friends to get into business with you. But what I'm getting here is that all the power lays in your individual sovereignty and realizing that you are the whole world on legs you hold the whole world in your consciousness and i feel like there's this harnessing of the power because they're showing me that once you pull your energy into your own personal utopia and i could be dealing with someone here i could be speaking to someone here who has felt like solitude was a punishment before or maybe even being children being sent to our room alone as a punishment it could embed itself right in our psyche there are lots of things that are always embedding themselves in our psyche because we live within a dream and we're hypnotic creatures so i feel like this is you reimagining your own inner world as a perfect place of sanctuary and a perfect place of power and i do feel like this is in business i feel like the most powerful souls you've got the ability to conjure up the most loot and i feel like there are distractions here you know, I'm getting this fuzzy, staticky energy of distractions, of things that even if people started it with you, it would burn out. You know, dead ends, right? Fuses that aren't getting lit here. And again, they were showing me, like, with that car pushing analogy, they were also showing me, like, fuses in a car. And getting that jump start, getting that fuse sparking, getting the, and the weight of a car, right? It's like you hold all the weight. You are the plot plutonic beasts you are the one who once you harness and focus your energy in the perfect direction in independence because nine of cups uh sorry why am i saying nine of cups forage and slip nine of coins nine of pentacles is just the standard for human existence really and let's forget about the past right here right now as sensible adults who know that our mind creates reality right here right now all of our power is and I feel like something's coming over you where you're just going to take the bull by the horns and do something on your own here. Show me one more for this nine of coins. The star, there we go, with the world. See, this is all about you being your own world and shifting. They're showing me shifting synapses, shifting wires. This is almost like a... This is almost, shout out Frequency Phoenix 555, this is almost like you moving wires from one spot to another. Like, I don't know if you guys have got a game show in America called The Crystal Maze, but in the UK we've got this game show called The Crystal Maze where it's all puzzles and it's all a bit riddlistic. So there's that fun energy, right? I always like to reference Joe Rogan when he spoke about the jesters that he saw under the influence of psychedelics. And it was really his own soul, you know, going na 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 back at him and telling him not to take things too seriously. And this is coming up because, you know, perhaps you've got really strong masculine energy because I feel that really strong energy that needs a platform and a direction, right? And this platform and direction for you is pure independence. And you're moving the wiring so that being alone feels like a treat and a gift. And this beautiful workroom that you can 
really start shining from this is you the star this is you following that own inner glow and i feel like maybe sometimes socialization it distracts us and it's a beautiful thing socialization of course it is it's sort of why we live but we need to get our house in order and for you the first step is the nine of pentacles being as tough as you can be and finding that pathway and i feel like for you it's it's independent it's uh singular at the moment right singular show me one more for the star moving your mind yeah six of wands here with the star and the nine of pentacles baby you've got it all you've got it all and i feel like this mental tangle over here has been maybe from you getting premonitions of the future right but in your now moment so maybe you've wanted to work with people on things because you're getting a sense of the tribe you're going to be part of in two years or three years which sounds a long time but two or three years goes by like easy peasy you're going to get to these premonitions you're having the thing that's tangling your mind up is that you're so psychic that you can feel ahead into the future and you're trying to make the people maybe in the present be the ones who are in the future because you're getting this future premonition here with the four of wands of this big old party and this big camaraderie and this lovely tribal unity and affinity and it's gorgeous i love it but you've been getting snapshots of this scene over here way back here and maybe applying it to the wrong people, right? So they're saying, release yourself here. Release yourself. Look at this. Release yourself into victory. Look at her head held high. And that beautiful light. She's got it all. She doesn't need anyone telling her where to be, who to be, who to work with. This is all independence. And we've got three beautiful independent women on the card. Or just independent figures of, yeah, I'm the powerhouse. I connect to the ethers all day, every day. I can conjure and command reality because I am a god slash beast. Wear that label proudly because, yes, of course, holding as much metaphysical energy as you hold, of course, you're going to have your moments. You're only one little vessel. We're not perfect, you know. So they want you to let yourself off the hook with your moods. You know, you could feel like your mood's up and down, maybe a bit mood swingy, who knows? But you you are getting this clarity on who you are on a metaphysical level. And they're saying, you know, use the higher self as that resting place. That is your new standard, your new normal, being in the energy of sovereignty. And, and they're telling me the decisions you make from a place of sovereignty, of knowing in your godlike power, are going to be golden decisions. But the decisions you make when you feel like you need anyone else to help you, or, you know, work with you, they're not the same potent quality, they're not the same level of a spell that you send out to the universe, right? So there's there's the number three here, you having it all, the honour, the, the devotion, the power, king of cups energy here, mastering your emotions and seeing through the waters clearly. We're going from the seven of cups confusion to domination with the king of cups, sitting proudly above any old ideas of yourself and really allowing yourself to be that new one that most powerful one that's going to clear up the tangle the tangle doesn't exist they're telling me the tangle doesn't exist on the dharmic path the tangle only exists on the karmic path so your dharma is to fully allow your own joy your own peace your own emotional clarity your natural state is joy all day every day you are golden you are glowing and you're turning this on ten of wands yeah the burden of feeling something in the future and getting confused with whatever now moment you were in back then it confused you because you were trying to make something work with a group of people who weren't your family thinking it was your future because you're so good at this you were feeling the warmth, trying to apply the family warmth or the tribal warmth in the wrong places. Five of coins. Oh, darling. Listen, I've done it, yeah, with my gypsy ways. I've done it. I've tried to be nice and tribal to people. And, you know, even my bloodline relatives, you know, like my mother, right? You get confused. You think they're your real family because they're your bloodline, for example. Not realizing that your real tribe is spiritual. And yes, there are bloodline connections even in spiritual soul groups, spiritual families. But I often try to make my family that I was born into my real family. And they never were supposed to be. A three of swords, my angel, darling. This has been hard for you with this confusion. Okay, so I, I'm feeling like this is family confusion. Five of wands. Your energy didn't mix well. And then we've got that four of wands there. Queen of cups to match the king of cups. 
So this spiritual family of yours off in the future, your soul was kind of getting it confused and it could have been that your soul was getting it confused with your bloodline family, expecting the loyalty and devotion that you could always feel in your soul because we are tantalizingly close to our true spiritual home all day, every day. All we've got to do is turn inwards and meditate and we are home, we are at home in the immortal etheric realm, right? And yes, meditation takes a bit of practice sometimes, but this is guaranteed for you with this four of wands that the tangle is gonna stop. There must have been a lot of conflict with this five of wands, five of pentacles, three of swords. And that's where the tangling comes from with these old pathways that the mind builds, our minds build reality. So there's this little, you know, this, this idea of you fully committing and jumping into your dharmic pathway with full enthusiasm and a full sense of self-worth is so important. That which we call God wants you to know that you are most precious, most valuable, and that there is this family. You weren't stupid to put your love onto whatever energies clearly didn't appreciate it. It's going to make you appreciate your real spiritual family so much more and the gentility that they bring and the harmonic understanding because with the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, what this is telling me is that your spirit is perfect for this future spiritual family, this inevitable magnetic home that you will always flow back into. And anything with the old family line, old storylines, people projecting what they want you to be at you, people, you know, people even using the fact that you're their son or daughter against you. This is what we come up against on the earth plane. And maybe you've gone through that, people projecting, you're my daughter, you're my son, and it really is projection when they don't stand in their honourable positionings. If they don't act like a mother, if they don't act like a father, those words mean something. So Spirit's saying, do not hold your honourable positionings for someone who doesn't hold theirs. It's got to be equal. Seventh house, you cannot have a relationship with somebody who doesn't hold their honourable positionings, particularly in family, this is coming up for somebody. So, you know, I always used to say, you know, people have got to, you know, be what they say they are. If they say they're your mother, they've got to act like it. It's in the action. The love is in the action. So that should mean something for somebody. And also the love will be in the action in this next phase here because you're going through to victory in solid independence. Let's grab a room. Wow. So this is the Dagas, Dagas rune, right? And it's the last rune in uh, in the sequence so this would be the daybreak this would be the dawning this would be the new world after you've gone through all of the challenging rows of runes it's very similar to going through the initiatory processes of the major arcana but this is you gaining dominance over your own world in a major major way and this fits so well with our four of wands cards showing up twice here this is absolutely beautiful because this shows me that now you have mastery, you've wrapped everything up and this looks like a beautiful bow for a reason. And this is the bow of your life. And I feel like now you're ready. You're ready to let go of, of the less powerful idea of yourself or the versions of yourself that got tangled up in storylines and relationships and maybe even family obligations. And now it's, it's time to be really true to your spirit here because you've deserved this. There's a very powerful, very strong Pluto energy with you. It's like a boulder, but not in a bad way. It's like a really beautiful, big, expansive, powerful energy. Like I say, they're giving me that idea of sometimes maybe you have a bad day. We shouldn't even call it a bad day. Sometimes the primal energies move through you. And uh, you've got a lot of powerful, powerful genetic material is what I'm being told. So you are going to find the perfect position to utilize all of this and no longer feel like you're trapped, right? And not able to be yourself. This is you being fully integrated as yourself because you've carved it out. This is about making the decision that I am the commander. I must carve this out. So you might even be carving this symbol onto something. Dagaz, okay, my darlings. So... The dawn is breaking, angels. I hope this has been good for someone. I love you guys. Mwah.